Hello everybody, welcome to One Drink, a podcast where we talk about one topic for one drink. I'm Matthew. And I'm Oliver. And today we're going to talk about weird or strange addictions. Oh yeah. There's a lot of them out there too. There and there's it, some weird stuff. Yeah. There's some weird stuff that people are addicted to out there. Yeah, so we're pretty much going to cover from the sickest shit out there to yeah. somewhat some no, simple normal so, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just to make everybody feel better. <laughs> About all this weird stuff. <laughs> there is some crazy shit out there. There, there is some crazy stuff out there. <clears throat> but first, let's talk about some IPA beer. Ah, I'm good with that. Yeah, yeah I love good IPA. Yes. So, um, I started drinking IPA about a year ago. Okay. Normally, I would drink, you know, the regular beer, Jenny, Bud. So, I got a um, Nikki at Quimby's. She served me uh, the kind from three heads mm-hmm. changed changed my whole drinking game up i love ipa beers now yeah i'm the same i also <clears throat> love a good ipa oh so good yeah and speaking of three heads yes today that is what both of us are drinking yes, um, we, are. we have two different features from them today we have their brambleberry yes. um which is an ale made with uh blackberries and raspberries <sighs> fantastic summer beer so it's great super good. little on the sour side but it's still light and it's fruity and it's it's literally delicious. It's it literally is good. delicious. And of course, we have their their flagship beer, uh, the kind yeah. IPA. Um, yeah. So, but Three Heads is what we want to talk about a little bit today. In lieu of yep. doing our, our normal news stories, um, we're going to do a little local local spotlight. Yeah. Um, on Three Heads Brewery. Um, so Three Heads is run by by four guys, mm-hmm. and they are all fantastic dudes. Um, Brian, Dan. Uh, Jeff and Todd. Um, So they've been friends uh, for a long time um, and they actually started uh, making home brews Uh, in Todd's kitchen and his basement. So like just at his house just just making beer. Started small. Just testing testing out recipes and you know just making some beers. So they ended up entering um, like some homebrew competitions, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Um, and they won a bunch of awards. Of um, and you know, they entered another <clears throat> one and they had similar success and then they entered another one and they had similar success. Wow. Um, so in 2010, uh, they founded Three Heads Brewing yeah. um, and they have hit the ground running and haven't stopped since. Um, they just opened up um, a brand spanking, yep. shiny new, state-of-the-art brewery um, on at uh, 186 Atlantic. Um, in 2016. Yep. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, it's the second largest craft brewery in the state. Really? Yeah. Second only to Jenny. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like 20,000 square feet, <clears throat> but they do live bands there. Yeah. And they've got a beautiful tasting room. They have a huge patio. Mm-hmm. So it's right in the middle of the neighborhood of the art. So it's a great little neighborhood. It is. Tons of other places you can walk to. Um, yeah. And they're just, they're great guys. Oh, yeah. They're all great so guys. So I've met Brian. Yep. I haven't met any of the other guys, but <clears throat> he's the awesome. The other guys are all big and beautiful and bearded, yeah. too. Except for Dan. Dan doesn't have a beard. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. <laughs> but, yeah, so I've I've tried, um, I don't want to say thousands of IPA beers, but I've tried a lot of them locally around here, mm-hmm. and I keep going back to the kind. Yeah. It's... It's just one of my, and I'm not saying that because we're sponsoring them or anything, but everywhere I go, it's one of my top beers that I get always. Oh yeah, well, it's it's a guaranteed beer. That's that's my favorite <laughs> thing about it is it's you know exactly what you're gonna get from it every single time. Yes. You know, there's no there's no question about what you're gonna like. Oh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a kind. Yeah. It's a good. And the thing that I like the most is all their logos. Oh yeah. All their logos. Are fantastic. Like, well, they're done by a local guy, a local. I think he's a local art teacher. Really? Yeah. Does oh. all the does all the logos for him. That is even better. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And actually, all four <laughs> of the guys from Three Heads um, are featured on a label of one of the beers. Oh, really? Yeah. So this one, uh, this guy here with the tie dye on, that's yeah. Jeff. Ah. Um, I didn't the, know that. Uh, Big Head Stout is Brian. Okay. Um, he's got on like a uh, like a king's robe and a crown. I think I have seen that. But he's like wearing his boxers. <laughs> um, and then Todd is on the Bromigo. Uh, he's got a big red beard and he's standing next to like an ox or something like that. Okay. Um, and then Dan is um, 
uh, they have a common man, um, Paleo, I think it is. Yeah. Anyways, it's called the Common Man, um, mm. but it's you know Dan all clean cut and you know like pulling his shirt open like this. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Like he's a superhero. <laughs> um, yeah. So they're all featured. That's on on one of the on one of the logo <clears throat> incorporated into one of the logos. Yeah, yeah. It's super cool. I didn't know that. Super cool. Yeah. Yeah. But also this um, Brambleberry is. Uh, I think it's delicious. Creeping up there. For I think it's delicious. One of the greatest drinks I've ever had. Well, I had my um, baby shower mm. at Three Heads Brewery. Yeah. And they had this on at the time, and I must have had 10 or 12. Yeah. And so Brian good. gave me a nice big mug, too, and it was great. It was great. You were just like, it was uh, great. Uh, I remember most of my uh, baby shower, so it's cool. <laughs> I've only been there once. I saw a band there. Um, when it like first opened, yep. it was packed, of course, but it was beautiful. It was, it yeah, was nice. Yeah. So shout out to you, Three Heads, for yes. uh, for doing what you do and making delicious beer. And yeah. we will always, always support you guys. Yes, much I, love. I will for yep. the rest of my life. I will. <laughs> yes, Three Heads Brewery, great. All right. So let's get ourselves <clears throat> into some strange, weird, bizarre, <laughs> nasty. Addiction. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and I mean, like I said before, we're gonna cover all aspects from <laughs> you'll soon yeah, find out. You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> Go ahead. You wanna start out heavy or you wanna get in you wanna ease you wanna like dip your toes in the water and like get into the pool from the ladder or you wanna just cannonball straight in yeah. there? Alright. That's what we do. So I made cool little tags <clears throat> tag Taglines for, for all mine. Okay. Well, for what I'm calling them. So it's like you don't know what it's gonna be. <laughs> so my first one I called it sour candy. All right. Sounds so, delicious. So this woman enjoys sniffing and sucking on old diapers <laughs> that are loaded with pee. She does it because she says they taste like sour candy. Mm. <laughs> so she goes out and she gets these piss loaded diapers <laughs> from her friends from her family and from strangers. Oh. She just goes and collects dirty yeah. diapers. So like, I don't know if you've ever changed a diaper or not, but I have one. being a dad, I have changed, now changed many diapers. Yeah. So you roll them up and then you tuck the, the sticky ends around so it makes like this little, basically just a little ball yeah. like a diaper and then you throw it away. And then you throw it away. <laughs> So this lady has these little sacks of diapers, and she literally like, <clears throat> oh god, that's so bad. On these fucking diapers that are full of pits, and she just sucks on them and sucks on them and sucks on them. <laughs> Dude, she carries them around in her purse, so like when she takes like a break at work, she'll go and she'll like suck on a diaper for a little bit. Dude, it's so nasty. Yeah, she has to stink. Like, like this. Yeah, just. You could smell her, just like. Can you imagine if you went on a date on, with her, oh. and like you kissed her, <laughs> and then like you go to go into the bathroom and she's sucking on a diaper. You want to make out? Knock that bitch <laughs> right out. <laughs> yeah, so uh, sour candy. So speaking of the whole urine thing, there is an addiction to drinking your own urine. Yes. I like that when you said I did, when I right when I took a sip. Of, oh, I didn't mean my bad. But <laughs> yes, there's an addiction to people drinking their own urine, which technically it's sterile. It's it just ugh, it's just so nasty to even think about. But also, this one individual not only does she drink it, she, <laughs> she uses it in her eyes as eye drops. <laughs> And she brushes her teeth with urine. <laughs> now that is just taking it. <coughs> you, you all right? I'm good. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm good. So that's, that's just so nasty. It's it's literally one of the most disgusting things besides this diaper shit that I just heard. I mean, I guess at least <clears throat> this lady is like drinking her own piss. This yeah. other broad is, is sucking <laughs> on everybody's diapers, man. So, yeah, she goes to the doctors, and her doctor said she has no internal issues and nothing wrong with her eyeballs. 
Or her teeth? Her teeth. Her teeth are probably more white than anybody we know. I was going to say, or you. Yellow. <laughs> you're uh, like, oh my god, you're a smoker? No, I just drink my own pee. <laughs> oh, that's why your teeth are yellow. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yes, there's an addiction to that. Mm. Lord. Rough. <laughs> All right, no more pee. Oh. I don't have any more that are related to me. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> you said cannonball right in. Cannonball, man. Just, I should have said dip my toes. All right. So I got uh, one. I call it so fresh and so clean, clean. Oh, okay. So uh, this lady enjoys sniffing baby powder. Oh. So she was always attracted to baby powder, to the smell of baby powder. Okay. And started off, she would just like, you know, poof it. Yeah. yeah. And then... Like take a big breath of it. And one day she was like really close to like a bowl of it, oh. and she actually like snorted some. Ah! And she liked it. Sheesh. And so she figures that by now she <clears throat> has snorted over eighteen hundred pounds of baby powder. I mean that's a lot. The eighteen hundred pounds. So you're talking just like <laughs> yes, like cocaine. Yes. <clears throat> yes, like she she gets like a scoop of it in her hand and she goes <sighs> Wow <clears throat> It's crazy It's gotta it's baby powder. It's gotta ruin. It's the same as like I guess coke or anything going in your nose constantly, right? It's, it's gonna it's gotta <laughs> just tear up just everything. <laughs> Deviated septum or whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> I just got mine fixed. Right. <laughs> I don't want to destroy that bitch again. Right. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. So, um, there is a lady, you know, some people have cats at their house, you know? Right. And cats normally, they, they like shed themselves and yeah. shed, of course. Well, there are some people out there that like to lick cats and eat their hair. No, there's not. Yeah. There's not people that do that. Yes. There awesome. is. They like the... They like the feeling on their tongue, you know, of licking the cat, which <clears throat> it can't taste. Where's good. Peanut? I'll give you a hundred bucks right now. <laughs> I'll give you a hundred bucks right now if you go lick Peanut. She just jumps up here and right. I'm just hey, like, hey, let's give it a shot. I'll clean you today, Peanut. Nah. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, so, <clears throat> and of course they say that it's obviously not good for your digestive system because it'll Clearly. Be just like a shower drain when you... <laughs> Uh, uh, going back to um, <clears throat> one of those nasty things for a million bucks. Remember uh, that? But yeah, so there's people that <clears throat> like to lick cats. No thanks. Yeah. No thanks. I'm going to move on because this next one is the bee's knees. Oh. Yeah, sounds cool, doesn't it? It sure it's does. Not. It's, not. <laughs> it's not. So this lady is obsessed with bee stings <clears throat> and she has provoked over 50 thousand bee stings Yow. on herself oh okay so she grabs these bees with like a little tweezer okay and she stings herself fucking stings herself <laughs> different how many bees have died in the making of this video right don't bees die when they yes after they sting you i wonder what kind of bees she uses <clears throat> well if she has like a preference i know if she, Hope she gets a murder hornet one of these i was gonna say yeah, yeah if she gets one of those you, yeah you've seen those bees where it just <laughs> yeah, murder. Her. It might be one of those, but she won't want to get stung again. I can guarantee you that. I mean, apparently, fifty thousand stings later, and she's still going strong. <sighs> but who likes that? I I hate it. Like, I mean, I get that there's masochists out there or whatever. True. Or is that no? Or a sadist? <clears throat> Which one likes to get hurt? Whatever. Yeah. yeah. I get that there's people that like pain, <clears throat> but who likes bee stings? Why don't you just? Like clamp your nipples like a normal like a normal person. Yeah. <laughs> that would hurt like hell as well. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I, I'm when I see a bee normally, you know, I'll give it the swat. And if it keeps coming back, I'll you know right. yeah, you get step the, away. Or, the, fuck you, man. Yeah. Get away from me. I'm not gonna be like Yeah. How's that? Yeah, how's that feel? No thanks. <clears throat> Alright, so <laughs> Fuck Ace Ventura. When he's in his apartment and he's like, 
Come to me, my jungle <laughs> friends. <laughs> Just I wonder like, if that's what she does if she sees take, a beehive somewhere when she's like out for a hike. I'm sure. She's a she's a <laughs> Come nut. to be my stinging friend. <laughs> oh. So when you um there's people out here, another addiction, to you know, you put ice cubes in your drink to keep it cold, right? Yeah. I just found this weird because it's something that I hate. <clears throat> Not hate, but there's people that love to like chewing ice cubes. You know like <laughs> I can't. I mean, I mean, that doesn't bother me. No? I don't like to do it, but I mean, it doesn't. Ah, uh, it's just, it gives me like the chills and it just chipping your teeth away. You should have put that on your pet peeves. Ah, uh, I should have. But this is, I guess, another one that I just, I don't get it. It's so weird. Yeah. Like, they say that they like the A, the crunching sound, but then they like the coldness in their mouth. Yeah. It doesn't bother me too much. So they're just like, can I get a bowl of ice? Oh, yeah, that's it. That's what I'm eating. Is that cool? No problem. <laughs> You're just like, okay. All right. You want a drink with that? Sure. <laughs> All right. So speaking of eating. Yeah. Uh, let's call this one Bag It and Tag It. Ooh. Yeah. So there is a man who has consumed over 40,000 plastic bags. Like eight like a, Wegmans, like a Wegmans t-shirt bag. <laughs> and he just grubs on them. Eats the bag. He just eats the plastic bags. Yeah. So his family was obviously very concerned for <laughs> medical reasons. Yeah. Because, I mean, the guy is clearly eating and then shitting out all these plastic bags. Right. And, I mean, what's... You're not supposed to eat plastic. No. The end. No. You know what I mean? So he had a battery of medical tests. Mm -hmm. They tested his his intestines and his colon and his esophagus and all this stuff. Yeah. Totally normal. See, I don't get that. Totally normal. Not one thing wrong with him. I mean, lucky. Which I get. I mean, I guess the only thing that can really happen on that is, I mean, you could get backed up, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, then they'll have to go in and, like, get it out and, like, that could... Clog. But, I mean, I guess if he's passing the bags... Now, but this is the thing. Does it fill you up? Do you get full? I don't you know? know? I don't know. He was kind of skinny. <laughs> so, maybe. He's, I don't know. He's like a human recycling I don't know. Machine. Right. Right. <laughs> Here you go, Tom. Another right. plastic bag for you. There you go. <laughs> You're welcome. He was pissed. If he lived in New York, he was pissed when they did the ban on plastic bags. Right, yo, he's out there <laughs> scooping them all up <laughs> off of eBay. Yo, yo, you got them bags, bro. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't need the Coke in the bag. Yeah. I just want the bag. The bag. <laughs> Anything glass. I just want the bag. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you'd have to graduate to like zip line. <laughs> <laughs> they need to be Wegmans. They need to be Wegmans. I just want the bag. Oh. What if he has a preferred, like, favorite bag? He, I mean... You think he goes around and like samples all kinds of different he bags? He has to. You know? I mean, he goes to the corner store on third. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or the the Wegmans on merchants. <laughs> when you have an addiction, you try. Wegmans on merchants. <clears throat> but um, so this one I I've been doing a lot lately. You've been doing this one a lot. <clears throat> Video games. Oh. Well, it is a quarantine. True, but. <clears throat> This one game specifically, Warzone, mm -hmm. Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. I never played these type of games, shooter games. I can't stop playing this game. You play it. We, oh, yeah. Yeah. We don't have enough time on this show <clears throat> to talk about this game. Right. But I'm saying, like, just video game yeah. addiction in general. It, oh, no, I'm just saying. I like Warzone so much. that Yeah. It's huge. We'll get a whole shot. Like, I know, like... I have a couple of friends that are females, and they're like, all my boyfriend does is play goddamn video games. She's like, I could run in front of this TV naked in front of him, and he's still just playing video games. And I was like, stop it. Stop it. Are you telling me the truth? Because I think you're lying, but no. But it is on the rise. Don't and just it is... leave that guy. <clears throat> yeah. I'm right here. Right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just backed my seat up. Like, yeah. You know? <laughs> There we go. I play on PC, you know, so I'm at the desk. My chair's got wheels on. I'd be like, <laughs> but, um, Come on, honey. 
But yeah, like I play this game like a lot. Yeah, a lot more than I should. Yeah, yeah. dude, I <clears throat> I bought a PC mm -hmm. to game on, and I started streaming. Mm. Yeah, so I stream Call of Duty. You can actually check my stream out if you'd like. What is it? Uh, it's called the Panicky OG. Yeah. Uh, my page is on Facebook. I stream through Facebook. Um, so you can check out my page at the Panicky OG. Yeah. So it's much like this show. I talk and yell a lot. and It's a whole different world, though. I'm not very good, but it's, uh, it's funny to watch me struggle. That's the thing, game. too. And I play with, with uh, Mateo over here. So <laughs> Yeah. And I'm, I'm, all, like, I'm all right. You looking for additional content? Yeah. Got I should it. start a stream thing. Should. Fuck it's not it. that hard. But yeah, so this addiction is, you know, all these games are so realistic. Yeah. But this game, I don't know what it is. Everyone I know plays this goddamn game. Yeah. It's that good though. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, video addiction, video game <laughs> addiction is. Yeah. Well, but some people take it too far, though. You know what I mean? Like, they don't go to work, they don't go to... They don't yeah, yeah, so they're saying that, like... Except play video games. Yeah, so I forgot to mention that, like, <clears throat> hospitals and um, are seeing a rise in deaths because people don't leave. Like, they're so addicted to these games, they don't leave their chair. They don't eat, they don't drink. They don't do anything. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Man. That's I mean, how, I, that's I how might, far the addiction can I get. I might game a decent amount... <clears throat> Especially now that I've started streaming, I'm trying to dedicate some time to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I still go to work. You're still responsible. You still raise a child. You're still responsible. Like, I still own a home. Yeah, I, yeah. But yeah. that's how bad it can that's get. Crazy to me. <laughs> Could you imagine you're just like hospitalized over a fucking video game? You're just like your last. Right. How oh, can just, you not? Eat? I just got shot. How can you not eat though? Because I don't care how good a game is. Yeah, I'm a, I need some food or a drink or anything. I need to piss. Or some water. Gee, like, come on. Just let me have one Ma, drink. Mom, make me some pizza bagels. <laughs> Ma, the meatloaf. Right. <laughs> All right, so the next one I got here, I called it Bye Bye Baby. Oh, God. Or Hello Baby. <laughs> so there's a 13-year-old girl uh, who is addicted to being a baby. So when she was 13 years old, she started wearing diapers again. Oh, God. And started regressing. In age. Ah, okay. So she <coughs> asked her parents to get her an adult sized crib. Mm -hmm. So it's a full size bed with a crib around it. Yep, yep, yep. The crib sides around it. Um, started using pacifier again. Started wearing the diapers again. And her parents are like condoning this. Like they're encouraging it. No. What is your fucking problem? Yes. 13 year olds aren't supposed to wear diapers and be babies and drink out of bottles <clears> and <throat> and use fucking pacifiers. Not even close. What is wrong with you? Take her to see a specialist. Yes. Take her to talk to somebody. <laughs> Don't spend your money on buying baby shit again for right. a 13 year old. Take her to see a therapist. Yeah. Ugh. I <laughs> drove me nuts. Especially because I'm a parent now, so it's like, what are you doing? You don't want to relive those years again. <laughs> no, no, hell no. Especially not with a 13-year-old. <laughs> right. How big those dumps must be? I'm not changing that. <laughs> Change your diapers. I ain't changing my 11-month-old <laughs> shitty diapers, man. I ain't changing no 13-year-old diaper, bitch. You better sit <clears throat> on the toilet. Oh, golly. That's weird. So, another addiction that people like... To participate in is popping pimples or blackheads. You ever see like the Mr. Pimple Popper or whatever? So, <clears throat> when Jackie has a pimple or something, you do it? I'm always like, let me get it. Yeah, see? Kind of just like that. I don't like enjoy doing it. I think I get more enjoyment out of the fact that she doesn't want me to do it. Right, right, right. So it's like, I just like bugging her about it. But I had someone do it to me once. I'm not like, I don't. I, if you had a pimple right now, I wouldn't be like, "Yo, Matt, hey, yo, let me pop that shit, bro. <laughs> let me get, it. yeah, yo, just let me get it. <laughs> just let me get it real quick. Ah, yeah. No. Do you have any other ones? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so <clears throat> that's on the rise as well. I don't know why. I think it might be just because of that stupid show. But I've only had it done to me once. I had one nice one on my back. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, there's some that that you need to have somebody get for you because you just you physically can't. And they hurt. Yeah. 
Like hell. And the worst, the worst ones are like when they're in your nose, uh, though. Like right on the, like on the edge of your nose, and you can't even touch it like without oh, sneezing. No. Yeah. So you can't even get in there for long enough to pop the damn. And thing. then you move your nose, and it just hurts. Yeah. It's just and everything hurts. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or you ever get one like on the, like on the crest of your lip, like right here, yeah, like yeah. a pimple, like here, or like down here, and you're like, <laughs> yeah. And Especially standing in the mirror, looking like you're about to fucking pop a blood oh, vessel. Yeah. Especially for us men, because we gotta shave, so we're just like right. Uh, or if you go uh, over uh, one when you shave, and it's like you're like, oh, and you're like, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, popping. It's demos. more common than you would think. Yeah. Like you said, sometimes we need to get them done, but there's people that. Just well, that's like our indecent proposal uh, <clears throat> idea. If you would uh, drink a milkshake full of freshly popped pimples. <laughs> yes, exactly. Apparently, we could just get a bunch of addicts, <laughs> a bunch of pimple popping addicts over to, to pop all the pimples and, for and us. Dude. They'd be getting off on it while they're <clears throat> fucking filling the pint glass. And then they're like, Do you want some? No? Do I'll you, take it. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Sick bastards. <laughs> all right. I may uh, have arguably saved <clears throat> one of the nastiest ones for last. Mm -hmm. This is my last one. Let's hear it. I call it a cup of joe. Oh, okay. Coffee. Can't be, you know. Everyone loves coffee. Everyone loves coffee. <clears throat> Not as much as this couple does. <laughs> now, this is a couple. This is a real life couple, <laughs> and they are addicted to giving themselves coffee enemas. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's definitely a... <laughs> I'm going to just go out on a limb and assume that everybody here knows what an enema is. I'm not going to explain it because it's nasty. If you don't know what it is, Google it. Yep. And then imagine it being done with coffee. So, it's a couple mm -hmm. that does it. And they do it together and they give themselves over a hundred coffee enemas a month. A month? A <laughs> month, bro. Oh my God. A month. That's basically, it's almost two a day. Each. Oh, yeah. Each. <clears throat> you know, fucking shove a tube That's with a lot. coffee in it and then rinse your asshole out with fucking coffee <laughs> every fucking day, twice a day. Ugh. Get out of my face with this fucking crazy shit. And imagine, imagine the caffeine rush. They're just like, all right, you going to do it again? Right. Do you want to do it again? Oh, fucking girl, why don't you sniff some Coke? Yeah. Or some baby powder? Yes. <laughs> I was going to say, or Coke with baby powder. <laughs> just cut it with baby powder. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> oh, my God. But, yeah, coffee animals. I mean, I read that one, and I was like, you know what? I ain't putting no more on this list. I'm done. That was it. I'm done. Oh, my God. I mean... <laughs> Why Fucking coffee? Coffee enemas. Of everything. Right. Right. And maybe it's the rush, like you said. Oh, man. Ah, <clears throat> dude. So, people love their cars. You know, you buy a car, you're like, oh, man, I love oh, my yeah. car. Of course. Washed it, whatever. It did the interior. I tinted right. my windows. Yeah. Well, some people love their cars a lot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, you know, I think we did this in the show with uh, phobias. Yeah, mecha, <clears throat> mecha, mechnophob, mechophilia. Mechophilia, yeah, 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 that's it. So this is when you literally kiss your car. You literally hug your car. You literally have sex with your car. This is an addiction. Well, I've seen a show, and there's one dude in specific mm -hmm. that they featured on this show, and he's got like a shitty old. It's just a shitty car. It's like a it's like a, it's like a Ford Taurus or something Ooh. like that. Like it's not a good right. looking car, or whatever. It yeah. like lays underneath it, and he like holds the bumper like this, and he's like, <laughs> right, oh. like makes out with it and shit. Yeah, but could you oh, imagine no. you're just rolling by? So if he bangs the car. <clears throat> I mean, it's got to be the tailpipe. <laughs> Either that or, I mean, <laughs> the gas tank. <laughs> but, I mean, are you going to stick your... <laughs> stick your junk in gas? I don't think so. so. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine, like, getting home and, like, looking over and your neighbor's like this? Hey, how's There's it going? There's a tailpipe in their car. <laughs> yes. What the... 
fuck are you doing, dude? So, yeah, um... Go in the garage. <laughs> Get a garage! Right! <laughs> Instead of get a room. <laughs> get a garage! <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we just moved into a spacious new <clears throat> two bedroom garage. Right. <clears throat> so, yes, there are people that love, you know, bicycles, motor vehicles, helicopters, ships, aeroplanes, anything mechanical. I would love to see somebody that was having like a love affair with a helicopter. Could you imagine? I think that would just be so funny. <laughs> I'm cheating on you. Laying like this on one of the rotors. Oh right. And like riding the rotor. <clears throat> oh, fucking weird. So yeah, that's um some of the weird and uh, crazy yeah. addictions out there that uh, we came across. Good luck to y'all. Get some help. <laughs> Talk so, to somebody. <laughs> Just... So yeah, if you guys know of any other weird addictions, comment below. Let us know. I mean, definitely. We always, definitely let us know. We always want to be educated in what we talk about. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> so um, I got a couple shout outs. All right, what we got today? I got Leah Camp. Leah, what's yeah. up, girl? Yep. She uh, watched our show the other day. She she was amazed. She was like, "Wow, it's you know really really good." She thought we were super positive, super funny. Did you pay her for this review? I did not. I did not pay her. <laughs> Just kidding. We don't pay anybody <laughs> to review our show. That's why we don't have any good reviews. Yep. But she really, really liked the show, and it was uh, it was good to hear some good feedback. Yeah. It's and always, she lives it's always nice to hear. Some she lives all the way down to Florida too, so all the Florida it's podcasters. Like our girl Gabby G. Yes. Stay you, Gabby. <clears throat> and uh, my other shout out goes to Mark Banning. He's a realtor in uh, Rochester. He works for Keller Williams Realty. Um, he's got nothing but positive reviews. He's really, really good at what he does. Nice. So before he was a realtor, he was a um, <clears throat> contractor. Mm -hmm. So he knows. Oh, so he actually knows about the buildings themselves. Yeah. So when he goes in right. to tell you something, right. he's super honest and nice. he, he knows yeah. what's right. That's the kind of realtor you want. Yeah. Yeah. So for sure. Mark Banning. Shout out to you, Mark. Yep. Yeah. All right. I think that's it for us today. That's all I got. That's our one drink. Yeah. That is the one drink for the show. Yep. We'll see you guys next week. See ya. Cheers. Check out guysandgladiators.com. He has clothing and he has art. Type in the code word one drink and you'll get a discount on all your purchases. Be sure to check out our friends at Baytown Wine and Spirits uh, for all the latest and greatest crazes. Um, they have great discounts, great selections, and, and awesome merch. So go, go check out our friends at uh, Baytown Wine and Spirits. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to check out Terry. She uh, brunch box, food truck, fresh food every day. She roams Rochester. She has a set schedule that I'll be sure to share. Um, brunch box. Be sure to check out my friend uh, Kristen at Sprinkle Crafts. If you love all the cool hats that I wear uh, with the Rock City logo, uh, she does hats, t-shirts, hoodies. Um, supporting that local. Yep. Go rock. And check out Wood and Work. They do all custom woodwork. Um, anything. They do everything. Yeah. All their Science, ways. tables, chairs, they do all kinds yeah. of stuff. Check out um, Wooden Work on Facebook, Etsy, or Instagram. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to our page, share it with your friends, and as always, much love. See ya. See ya.